a picture-perfect pair. Seen here in a YouTube video she posted enjoying a beach vacation in Mexico. He, a handsome Bravo reality TV star. Crossing paths with that perfect someone isn't an easy thing to do, and it's definitely much harder than I thought it would be. And popular doctor. Hi, I'm Dr. Grant Robichaux, orthopedic surgeon at Newport Care. She, a gorgeous 31-year-old. My name is Sarissa Riley, and I am pursuing a teaching credential in physical education. Together, living a seemingly beautiful life under the golden sunshine of Newport Beach. But authorities say this is no California dream story. We've all heard of a wolf dressed up in sheep's clothing. Well, a wolf can wear scrubs, or a wolf can be a, a beautiful woman. Dr. Grant William Robichaux and his companion, Sarissa Riley, were arrested last week for allegedly picking up two women in Newport Beach, drugging them and sexually assaulting them. One neighbor who didn't want to be identified says they seemed so normal. They just seem like a beautiful, happy couple. You know, we just see them all the time and they just are beautiful and happy looking and friendly and nice. What's more, authorities are concerned by videos they say the defendants made. There are several videos where the women in the videos appear to be highly intoxicated beyond the ability to consent or resist and they're barely responsive to the defendant's sexual advances. Based on this evidence, we believe that there might be many unidentified victims out there. Newport Beach Police and the Orange County District Attorney's Office announcing today they have identified two Jane Doe victims. Jane Doe, number one, claims in 2016 the couple invited her to a boat party. She became intoxicated, and that's when she was taken to Robichaux's home, where she says they drugged and raped her while she was incapable of resisting. Police say the encounter was filmed. Later that year, police say Jane Doe, number two, drank with the couple at a bar, then was taken unconscious to Robichaux's home, where the couple sexually assaulted her. She allegedly woke up and screamed for help. A neighbor called the Newport Beach Police Department who responded to the scene and investigated. Authorities now saying based on the number of videos the couple made, there could be hundreds more Jane Doe's. We don't know how many victims there might be out there. We don't want this to happen to any other women. It is rare, but it isn't unheard of that you have a woman being used to bait and lure other women. It lulls a victim into a false sense of security. And so she may be thinking, well, there are two of them. There are a couple. There is this other woman there, and she will help me. She will protect me. And your defense is your guard is down. 38-year-old Robichaux, an orthopedic surgeon, practiced here at Newport Care Medical Group. Authorities say he was well known, in part to his 2014 appearance on a Bravo TV show about online dating. Authorities say there's no evidence any of the women on the Bravo show were victims of his alleged attacks. He also has several videos on YouTube discussing his medical work. We're going to talk about knee arthritis. He was even named Bachelor of the Year in 2013 by Orange Coast Magazine. Robichaux's co-defendant was allegedly well-known in the Southern California dance scene. One of their neighbors said he is shocked by the news. He's a very nice guy. I know her personally. She's very nice. I know their family. They're all very nice. But another neighbor tells a different story. My mom told me a story that she heard screaming. I don't want to, I don't know if it was a year or two ago, and the police came and I don't know what came of it. Authorities say Robichaux may have a longer history of sexually assaulting women, so they're casting a wide net, saying he graduated from Louisiana State University in 2003 and then from medical school there in 2007, completed his residency at UC Irvine Medical Center in 2012, and completed a fellowship at New York University Hospital for Joint Diseases in 2013. Around the time of the two alleged attacks, the couple partied at various music festivals, including Burning Man, the Dirty Bird Campout, and the Splash House Festival. In this YouTube video, Robichaux is seen partying at what appears to be a music festival. We know some victims might blame themselves, but you need to hear this. Your conscious decisions to party with these defendants or with anybody using alcohol or other intoxicating substances does not give them a pass to rape, assault, or have sex with you once you're past the point of consent. Because of today's technology, 
it is a bit easier to find victims. Social media can be extremely helpful, the internet can be extremely helpful, and the fact that there is videotape of the women um, is going to be extremely helpful. With this announcement, we're hoping that some people see it and say, hey, I was in that circumstance, I was there, um, I should come forward. The couple denying the charges. Their attorney saying tonight, they have been aware of these accusations for a number of months, and they are eager to have the proper spotlight shed on this case in a public trial. It must be noted that none of the allegations in this matter relate to or concern Dr. Robichaud's medical practice or his patients in any way. Robichaud and Riley's arrest last week stemmed from another alleged crime earlier this year. On January 9th, 2018, Robichaud and Riley are accused of possessing large quantities of illegal drugs, along with two illegal unregistered assault rifles, four other firearms, and several large capacity magazines at Robichaud's residence. Authorities say the California State Medical Board does have an open investigation into Robichaud. Both Robichaud and Riley are now out on bail. $100,000 bail for an orthopedic surgeon does sound low to me, but what you have to keep in mind is that bail cannot be punitive. The only conditions that need to be met are um, you have to ensure the safety of the community and you have to ensure that the defendants will return back to the courtroom. If convicted, Robichaud faces 40 years in state prison, Riley 30. With good old-fashioned detective work, I, I think we're going to be hearing from, from a, lot, a lot of women. And I also think that um, because of the climate that we're in, women will want to cooperate. They will want to cooperate. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.